Great day everybody, welcome to Skill Up Dimension. Today we got here another video from very popular audio software called Audacity. And in today's video I would like to show you all possible shortcuts that exist right now in the Audacity. I believe you can create so much more by yourself, by your own preferences. But in this video I will show you the shortcuts that already exist in the Audacity. So let's go for it. Okay, so the first one is Ctrl plus and what will actually create the new Audacity project. If you will click on Ctrl plus O, you can actually open any of your already saved projects which you have uh, in your computer. So as you can see, for in my case, I don't have any right now, but yo, this is another shortcut. If you will click on Ctrl plus W, it will simply close the Audacity, the current project as you can see we had nothing in this project so it did not ask us even if we want to save it but i believe if you will have any project at the audio track as you can see here if you will click ctrl plus w uh, it will ask you if you want to save your project uh, so do not be worried to just misclick it okay and nextly let's say we have multiple audacity project opened simply if you will click ctrl plus q it will close all of the audacity project and of course if in any of the audacity you have open project it will ask you if you want to uh, save it in advance okay next shortcut is ctrl plus s what is for saving of your project as you can see uh, we can now choose where it will be located and we can set up the name of the project nextly let's say we want to export our audio file so simply we will click on ctrl plus shift plus e and we can choose the name and the format of audio as it will be exported of course and the place where it's gonna be exported there is one another way how you can export your audio file by clicking on ctrl plus shift plus l you can actually export multiple audio tracks uh i believe if you would like to know more about this function we can talk about it in another video but for now i will just tell you that this function exists here too okay next shortcut is ctrl plus shift plus i what it does is it's really similar to an open new project but while in open new project it will open completely new project in a new audacity window and you will have there only your project with ctrl plus shift plus i you will actually open your project in your current audacity projects okay nextly we got here the group of shortcuts for let's say edit the audio tracks so let's say you will delete some part of the audio you actually wanted to use which you need what you can do simply you will click on ctrl plus z by what you will undo all your previous changes uh like from the last step of course as i will show you now one delete two deletes three deletes and let's say you can click ctrl plus z multiple times in a row and it will go back step by step it will not return full audio track at the once uh, but as you can see everything is going step by step by what you're doing you can go uh, back and as you can see we got the redo function here too so let's say we will cut out this part then we will think about okay we want to go back so ctrl plus z and if we want oh you know what no this track was actually really well cut it so we want to go again back so we will cl click just simply ctrl plus y and we will go as you can see redo we cannot go any step further because we did not anything else in this audio track yet so okay the next shortcut is ctrl plus x by what you can actually cut the audio and what you got out you have saved in your clipboard so if you want you can paste it anywhere in your audio track later but simply you cannot use this shortcut for splitting your audio because as soon as you will cut out one part of your audio as you can see it will move the all audio towards so basically you don't want to do it there is so much better options for it because 
very often you want to keep the distances and the all audio length so it's so much better to click just ctrl plus l to mute this part as you can see here okay nextly we got here ctrl plus k what will actually do the similar thing as the ctrl plus x but it will not save anything in your clipboard so it will just delete the selected nextly we got here ctrl plus c what is of course copy you can select the audio track ctrl plus c and then you can click anywhere in the audio track to paste it or you can click to another audio track 2 to paste it there and you can paste here the multiple uh, times too and of course you are pasting with ctrl plus v as we all know in case you would like to duplicate your audio track you need to click ctrl plus d and as you can see your audio track duplicate into new audio track and actually at the same place so it will match all together nextly if you will click ctrl plus p you will actually go to your preferences where you can set up everything about your recordings and basically all the necessary settings next shortcuts are used for special removals so next shortcut we got here is ctrl plus alt plus x by the shortcut you will split your audio into two parts and basically it doing the same thing as ctrl plus x but in this case it will not move the second part straight to the first part and will not uh, connect it together but as you can see the audio tracks will be separated so you can move by each other separately and yep you do not have to mute uh, the midlines next shortcut is ctrl plus alt plus k by watch you will do similar things as we did before uh, by ctrl plus alt plus x the difference is actually that by ctrl plus alt plus x you will save your selected and cutted part of audio into your clipboard so basically when you will click ctrl plus alt plus x you will you can then paste it anywhere to your video your previously selected part if you will click ctrl plus alt plus k you cannot you will just simply cut the video into multiple parts and you know there is a free space then between the audios then we got here ctrl plus l as i showed you already for silence the audio and nextly ctrl plus t for trimming the audio nextly we got here ctrl plus b what will add the new label track uh if you want more about the label tracks we can talk about it in another video okay nextly we got here ctrl plus a what will actually select everything in our audio tracks then let's say you want to select the part of your audio but not only in the first audio track but in the audio tracks below but at the same part then you will just need to click ctrl plus shift plus k and as you can see we actually selected this part in all audio tracks so if you will then just click ctrl plus alt plus x as you can see it will delete this part at the all audio tracks so nextly if you want to set left playback position simply click on the time where you want to set it and then click on left square bracket as you can see you can set manually the time since when the recording will begins and if you want to select the right at playback position you will click on specific time and then click the right square bracket and as you can see you will select the, uh, and set up your time manually then click ok okay let's say you want to select your audio track from this part to the start of your audio and you don't want to just go like all the way let's say it's few minutes or hours long so then just click shift plus j and as you can see the whole audio track will be selected since your point till the zero okay then let's say you want to go from this part to end of this track so then just click shift plus k and as you can see it will select the all audio till the end of the track if you want by shortcuts you can actually set up your zooms too if you click ctrl plus one you are zooming in as you can see if you click on ctrl plus two you will go back to normal zoom position and then when you will click on ctrl plus three you are you are actually zooming out as you can see right now 
Next, you can zoom into your selection. So let's just select this audio track and then Control plus E. And as you can see, our selected audio track is now at the all our screen. Okay, if you want to change between your two zoom presets, you can simply do it by clicking on Shift plus Z. And as you can see, we can go from uh, Control plus E to normal zoom just by clicking Shift plus Z. Okay, next shortcut is Control plus F. By what, as you can see, you can fit your audio tracks to width of your let's say screen of or of your software. If you want, you can fit your audio tracks to the high of your screen too by clicking on Control plus Shift plus F. And as you can see, it is a little bit wider right now. If you want collapse all of your tracks, you can simply click on Control plus Shift plus C. So as you can see, both of our audio tracks collapsed. And if you want to expand all of your collapsed tracks, just click on Control Shift plus X and there it is. Nextly, if you want just simply play or stop your audio, click space. If you want just play and stop your audio, but actually put your cursor, play with X. As you can see, our cursor actually move from one position to another. If you want just some loop play, then simply select area you want to loop and click on Shift plus space. So let's say you will play your video. Then you can pause it simply with P and after you again click the P, the audio will go next. Okay, and if you want to record in Audacity, you can simply click on R. By what you can see, we are recording right now in new audio track. So as you can see, by clicking R, we recorded new audio into new audio track but simply if you want to record your audio at the same audio track that you already have you are simply clicking the shift plus r and as you can see we are recording to our first original audio line uh, so yep that's it uh, if you want to bring up the timer record dialog simply click on shift plus t as you can see, cannot be used while you have unsafe changes, but it's okay right now. If you want punch and roll your record, simply click on Shift plus D. It will re-record over audio with a pre-roll of audio that comes before. And again, if you want to pause recording, you can do it simply with the clicking on the P. So let's say we are recording and you can pause it just like that, as you can see right now by clicking on P. If you want to put your cursor at the start of the track, simply click on J. If you want to put your cursor at the end of your track, simply click on the K. And as you can see, it will put the cursor straight at the end of the audio track at the certain uh, audio line, actually. So you need to, if you want to put the cursor at the total end of your audio, project you need to find the one that has the latest audio or there is another way you when you will click on home button you are going straight to the OO time to the start of your project too and if you are clicking on the end button you are going to the end of your project so you do not have to actually look for the latest of your audios you will simply click on the end and your cursor will set up for the end of the audio okay nextly let's say you want to mute all of your audio tracks you can do it simply by clicking Control plus u as you can see all of tracks are muted and if you want to unmute all of your tracks simply Control plus shift plus u and as you can see all are unmuted right now by clicking Control plus alt plus U, you can mute just one selected part and by clicking Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus U, you can actually unmute it. But if you want to just mute or unmute one track, you can do it simply by clicking mute. Okay, so if you want to set full screen at Audacity, simply click F11. And if you want to turn it off, again, click on F11. Okay, nextly, by clicking on the buttons F1 to F6, you can actually choose one of the tools. So by F1, you can choose the selection tool. F2, you can choose the envelope tool. F3, you can choose the draw tool. F4, you can 
choose the zoom tool f5 you can choose the time shift tool as you could see in our previous videos about the shifting and moving the audio tracks in audacity and by f6 you can uh, choose the multi-tool okay nextly let's say you want to delete this part again you can simply click uh, backspace and it will delete the selected audio part or you can select it and click on delete and it will be the same thing uh, by clicking alt plus left or right you can actually move your selection to the previous label okay nextly let's say you want to select everything from this point to start of your audio simply click on shift plus home and as you can see everything is selected on the other side if you want to select everything from this point of the track till the end of your track click on shift plus end then when you want to select bigger area just by a few let's say pixels or anything you can click on shift plus left and as you, you can see our blue area is actually rising uh, up to the edge the same thing you can do at the right side as you can see we can select so much bigger area just by holding shift plus right on the other side if you want to shorten the selected area you will simply click ctrl plus shift plus left and as you can see it's going shorter at the right side so it's going to the left and the same on the other side so ctrl plus shift plus right and as you can see the left side of the blue area is going shorter by clicking up or down you can focus on tracks up or down by clicking shift plus down you will not only put your focus on the second audio track but as well you will select the all audio track as you can see by blue side blue left side uh, of those icons the same is working by clicking shift plus up as you can see we not only put our focus by this yellow rectangle as you can see to the first audio track but as well we selected it so you can click return or numpad enter to actually select uh, all audio track that we are focusing on right now okay so as you can see when the audio is not playing you can simply move to the left and the right through the audio by simply clicking the left and right button if you will click on comma you can move to the left as by the uh, just left button but it's actually jumping as you can see every time by one second you can do the same to the right by clicking on the dot so as you can see every time i click dot it's moving by one second to the right by comma to the left and if you want the bigger jumps you will simply click shift plus dot and as you can see the cursor jump for uh, quite a big part and uh, shift plus comma and you can see it jumped back to the left for a huge part okay by clicking shift plus m you can actually open your menu uh, at the focused tracks by clicking shift plus u you can mute or unmute your focused audio track and by clicking shift plus s you can solo or unsolo your audio track what it means is that actually when you will click shift plus s so we can hear only this one track that we chose every other audio track is right now muted so and again shift plus s and everything is uh, unmuted again so ladies and gentlemen that is all for this video i really hope you liked it i really hope i helped you if you want to support this channel simply click the subscribe button uh, or you can hit the like too if you want to see more tutorial videos from audio software audacity simply write a comment below this video what you would like to see what video we should record and if you want to support this channel you can find us on instagram too link in the description or you can become our patron to actually support our tutorial project don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching this video have a nice day have a nice weekend and see you at the next video. Goodbye.